All right. So um, the last set of parameters I want to put on this guy is um, a material parameter. So we can also assign a material parameter. So for each different type, you can have a different material. Um, and it's pretty straightforward. What you have to have first is the form itself. So we have two forms. We have this top blend, and then we have this bottom um, extrude. So I'm going to hover over the top and tap my tab key. So I'm just tapping it until I get the outline select. And then I'm going to left click to select that form. And over here in the parameters, in the instance parameters, is this material. I can set the material manually here. But what I want to do is, just like we did with the angle, is to put a parameter on it using this associate family parameter option here. So I'm going to click on that. I'm going to create a new parameter. And I'll call it matte top. And click OK. And click OK. And then I'm going to put a different parameter on the base. So I'll tap my tab key until I get a selection and left click. Little gray box, new parameter, and I'll call this mat base. Okay. And so basically, you're just creating a container to assign a material to it later, right? So I'm going to click OK. And then if I go to my Family Types dialog box, I have the materials up here available to me to assign for each type. I can assign a different material. So for this, the base here, I'll click. You just click on the, um, there's a little ellipsis that comes up over here, and it will bring up your dialog box. So I'll put chipboard on the base for now. And make sure that under shading on the graphics tab, it says use render appearance. And I'll click OK. And if I hit Apply, you'll see the chipboard come in. And then maybe for the top, for this one, I'll put, I think there's a glass in here. I'll put glass. Click OK. Hit Apply. So now I've got glass on the top of that one. And let's go to the 70. I'll hit Apply. And it goes to the 70 one. And so now I can assign materials here. Um, I have very few materials in this project. You can access more materials down here in the material library. There is a little um, show hide library thing here. Um, but you should be able to expand this over here, and you'll have materials. And I'll just go in and let's, let's get a metal. So I'm looking at aluminum. Maybe we'll do a blue aluminum and a gray aluminum, right? And so I'll pick um, blue aluminum for this one. And I'm going to check Use Render Appearance and click OK and then Apply. And you'll see it set that down there. And then do the same thing for this guy. Use Render Appearance and OK, Apply. And so now we've got that guy. And then we'll do the last one, the 50. Right. And for the base, maybe get maybe some plastic. How about phenolic resin? You have to hit this little up arrow. Sorry if I didn't say that to get it up there. Um, use render appearance. Click OK. Apply. And it's transparent. We'll do maybe another plastic. Maybe a red mat. Under appearance. OK. And OK. All right. So now we have three different versions of this guy. So if I, I'm just going to hide some of these categories. So we're just looking at the form. Or actually, it would be much easier to pick the form. And do it the opposite way. Isolate category. Right? So now we can just see this. And if we go to our Family Types dialog box, we can flip between them. Right? And see the different versions that we've created. OK? 
All right. So um, when we come back, we'll actually insert or load this into the project.